Today we had a first. We literally had someone show up and we didn't know what to do. Wanna know why, Barry? At today's class, we have a seven-year-old shamrock macaw named Reese. Reese's human, Cassie, has been working on flight training and her end goal is to do free flight with us. Now we hear this a lot and usually the circumstances are that they've never seen their bird fly before, it has one wing, you know, things of that nature. So we never quite get our hopes up. But today, we got our hopes up because her training was spectacular. Uh, for recalls, is he doing, he's flying to you? Mm -hmm. let's, let's see what those look like. Do you want me to keep going? There? Yeah. This is looking good. Reese! I'd love to see. Can you just walk him back? And then I'm curious if you get another recall from that distance, what it looks like. This distance right here? Mm -hmm. Reese! Good! I assume you were clicking for improving on the perch? Yes. Um, I trying to potty train him so he only poops on the perch and not around the house. So sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, this isn't. I'm looking for failure points here, and I'm so far I'm really impressed. Um, let me have you go three more feet, and then I want to see a recall. Okay, so we'll have you, you, you can start walking him back. If he flies back, then we'll let him, but don't click. <laughs> so I'll have you go that same spot, but once you get there, I want you to wait for 10 seconds before you call him. Reese! Freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. What I was looking for is oftentimes a mistake that free flyers make is we'll go da 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 do a reset and stop call. What happens is stopping becomes a cue. Mm -hmm. And so you waiting 10 seconds was painful, but he was like, oh, that's cool, I'm good. It was really <laughs> And I was trying not to, thank really you. Good. I was trying not to look at him. <laughs> is looking at him the cue? No, not, but I was trying to give every indication that I didn't want him to come to me. Cool. Yeah, that looked good. And something else I'm noticing is, is you have your hands up a lot and he's not taking that as a cue. Oftentimes people will put their hands up who don't normally keep them up and that is the cue. So that's all oh, that looks really good. I actually really liked how you disconnected with him by not looking because I was focusing on him and I was like, huh, he's, he disengaged. And when I glanced over at you, I was like, cause she disengaged. <laughs> so you intentionally disconnected from him and said, I am not initiating anything with you through your body language, which is what Dave was like looking for you to not do on accident. It was so awesome. The entire class was Dave trying to set Cassie up to fail in some way, shape or form so that he could give some sort of tips and she never failed. It was pretty hilarious. I was actually laughing behind the camera most of the class. It's great. So what did you want to work on? Because it's uh... She wants to take the free flight I course. I want free flight, but I can't afford you guys to. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Is it good? What, what is it? it? I think it might have been a piece of raisin. What? Yeah. So interesting there, I just got a small approximation of a step up. I don't trust that body language. It's super heightened. So I'm gonna let him make the commitment as much as he can. He does gravitate towards the men more than women. What's his, what's, Reese? There, look, what is his name? <laughs> Hi. 
The only little thing that Dave saw was that there was quite a bit of hesitancy to go back into the carrier or at least stay in the carrier and Reese tended to rush the door. So that was something that he paused and took time to work on. And most people want to like back the bird in and uh, it's just way easier to just go face first. Okay. You have a little bit more control over the scenario ending well where if you back him in, he has so much input and like usually discomfort from his tail hitting stuff they were punishing him before we even closed the door. Sure. Usually these cages are associated with like going to the vet or in this case it's associated with, hey, we're done. You mm -hmm. no longer can earn treats. Sure. And so yeah. what I like to do is start, typically if I know this is gonna be an issue, one, one habit I would have you correct is you don't open the door until he's on the, on the perch and you get a step out, not a crawl out. Um, so I would start yep. with that. And now that you have him, he's in somewhat of your, you have input. I hate to say you have control, but you have a lot of input. So then you can take him out for a moment. He'll do his little head bobby thing. You can give a treat, put him right back in and take him out. And like, as soon as he's done with the treat, give him an opportunity to come out and do that like four sure. or five times, then do some flight training and then go back to this. Mm -hmm. So that he doesn't think, hey, I just did 18 recalls and as punishment, I get put in away. Yeah. Put away. Cause outside we're going to get all these great flights. And when he knows it's time to go back, he's going to sit in the tree. The other thing we paused and worked on today was with Paul, the husband, who Reese hasn't been as big of a fan of. But again, today, all the training that we saw looked really great with Paul. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, Paul, why don't you come on up here? <laughs> and are you able to, are you able to give him a treat? Or is he biting? Oh yeah, 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 yeah I, I can give him a treat. Let's see if we'll take that. Reese. He's, I mean, this all looks super good. The fact that your training is translated and even with me talking to my hands, he's like, no, this is, I mean, this is really cool. He looks great. Something that'll tell you whether or not your bird is successfully trained at a behavior is that they'll do it for multiple trainers. If only one trainer can ever cue a behavior, you know it's not actually successfully trained. So we even put this to the test with Reese today. And guess what? He passed with flying colors. Dave was able to train this bird. So here's the exciting news about today's class. Although they talked about not being in a place to afford our free flight course at this moment, you're gonna be seeing them graduate next month.